Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're making a sweater. Well, not really, but wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> so it's actually the rose window cuff that we're going to make today. So I got a lot of requests to make a double rose window bracelet. A few of you have already made one. So here's my um, rose window cuff. I'm using the chitons and I'm using pearl cabochons. You don't have to go this crazy and do this much embellishment. You can stop um, several places along the way and still have a beautiful bracelet. Here's the back. So very pretty from the front and the back. We have the pendant, we have earrings, we have a bunch of pieces. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll link all the um, rose window pieces below in the description box in case you're interested in taking a look at those. All right, so I'm gonna clear this off and we're gonna get started. So I know, broken record, please like and subscribe. Um, it's really very helpful for my channel if you do that. Um, so I'm gonna clear this off. Oh, and don't forget to ring the bell too. Um, so I'll clear this off and we'll get started. Okay, let's get a materials list going. So you need some super duos and I'm using two colors to produce this pattern. SS39 Swarovski Chaton. I'm using a Swarovski Pearl Cabochon. Now this, people have asked me about this. This is not one of the like hot fix flat backs. This is an actual cabochon. It's half drilled. I mean, I don't need the half drilled part, but this fits perfectly in a bezel and I absolutely love it. I think it's so pretty. Some four millimeter pearls or fire polish beads, three millimeter bicones, 11 O seed beads, 15 O seed beads, some kind of clasp. I'm using two toggle clasps and you need some jump rings. So um, I'm not exactly sure the size. I'll, I'll find it for you and put it down below. Stop bead, eight pound fire line. I'm using, this is black satin. I'm using a size 12, uh, 10 beading needle, but I'm gonna have, I have a 12 handy just in case. And something that I absolutely love these days is beeswax or thread heaven, which I haven't been able to find. Um, and somebody had left a comment asking me if I used it on my fire line and I said no. And so I figured, let, let me just try it. And it's great, I love it, especially on the black satin because it's, to me, it's not as, to me, it's not as strong as the regular fire line. And also a little added bonus, it kind of holds the beads together a little bit while you're beading. So if you're putting on a long line of beads, um, they kind of like slightly hold together, which is such a plus for me. It makes it so much easier. So I recommend this. Um, it's, it's great. I love it. All right. So I'm going to list everything in the description box below. Colors of the one we're making, colors of this one, places to purchase beads, um, you know, anything that I might forget, anything I add on. So please don't forget to click the down arrow or the show more. The box will open and there's so much information down there. All right, so I'm going to clear this off and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started. So thread your needle with about five feet of thread, put on a stop bead and leave about a 12 to 14 inch tail. We'll use that tail later. So I've put on my needle and dropped down to my stop bead. Three super duos, whatever color combo you like. 11O, 4mm 11O, three super duos, 11O, 4mm 11O, three super duos, 11O, 4mm 11O, three super duos, and 11O, 4mm 11O. So I have four groups of three super duos, and I have the 11O, 4mm 11O groups in between. Just like that. I sew those into a circle. I'm just going to sew up through all the beads just to reinforce. So here I have it, I've connected. And now I'm just going to go all the way around. Just sewing through that same hole. Just want to reinforce this first unit a little bit. And we're going to do this bracelet where we're going to do several units and you, they're, all, they're all connected so we're not going to do you know separate components, we're going to connect them. So that's why we're working from the outside in, just passing the stop bead. So here's my stop bead on my tail. I'm just going to sew, comp continue sewing around till I, I just want to make sure it's nicely connected. So I come out of a corner super duo. So I've, you know, passed that one and I'm just going to 
and exit this one like that. So when I hold it, this is what it looks like. Okay, so just get to that point and then we'll continue. Okay. So I'm exiting a corner, this corner, super duo here. I'm just going to pop that guy in on every one of my corners. Just easier for sewing. So just pop it over like that. The other one in. Just like that. So I'm exiting the bottom hole of this super duo. I'm just going to sew through the top hole. Like that. And just move your piece around so it's comfortable to sew. So now I'm exiting the top hole of my center super duo, that green one, and they'll pop out again, but don't worry about it. Like that. I'm going to pick up an 11-0 a super duo and an 11 0 so I'm using I'm continuing with this green one and sew through the top hole of the next one that next green one or whatever color you're using there get my little pull like that do that again 11 0 super duo 11 0 through the next center one like that Okay, do that two more times and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, coming around to the last one, so 11 0, Super Duo 11 0. I'm going to sew through that final Super Duo and through the 11 0 and the Super Duo and 11 0, just down the line a little bit like that, just to attach that guy. See what happens? That's what it looks like and all those. This is how those four go on. I'm going to sew through this super duo and then this one right here. Just going around the line a little bit just to make sure everything's connected. So I'm exiting a bottom hole of one of the loose super duos here. I'm just going to go through the top like that. And then you just want to place an 11 0 in between each one of these super duos. So just to connect those. So like that. Pop that through. One more. So here's the last one, and it gets easier once you have more to hold on to. <laughs> so popping through that one, and that pulls those all together. I'm just going to sew through a few beads, just continuing on where I put the 11 O's on. At, yeah, right there. And I just want to exit. I'm going to exit super duo like that. So I'll just get to that point and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, let's continue. So we have finished this unit. We're exiting one of these center super duos right here, the bottom hole. I want you to just sew through the top hole of that same super duo like that. So I'm working my way to the outside. So I'm exiting the top. I'm going to sew through this 11 0 and the bottom hole of the next Super Duo. Like that. Then I'm going to go through the top hole of that Super Duo and the bottom hole of the gold one. Just working my way. Like that. And then through the top hole of this gold Super Duo. So I've come to the edge now. So I'm going to pick up my 3mm bicone and I'm going to sew through the next Super Duo. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. I'm just going to sew through the pearl. Like that. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the next super duo. I'm going to pick up about a 3mm bicone, sew through the next super duo. So you can do that 
two more times till you come all the way around and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, working on my last side. So I've put on the bicone, putting on my two 11 O's. And my last two 11 O's, I'm going to sew through the Super Duo bicone Super Duo, like that. And now I have my little unit completed. So what I'm going to do now, so you notice how I just, so here, this is how it was, I just turned it this way a little bit, so I can sew up now. I'm exiting this Super Duo, I'm just going to sew through these two 11 O's, the pearl, and two 11 O's. Okay, so I'm just going to let you get to that point, and then we'll continue adding another unit. Okay, let's add on another unit. So my thread is coming out of the bottom of my uh, 11 O there. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's, a pearl, and two 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the top beads again, so the two 11 O's and the pearl, and then the two 11 O's, so attaching the next part of the next unit, and then up through these two 11 O's and the pearl. Now I'm going to add on another unit. So a little different sequence from the first time, but this is how it will continue for the rest of the bracelet. So I'm going to pick up an 11 0 three super duos, 11 0 pearl, 11 0 three super duos, eleven oh pearl eleven oh three super duos eleven oh pearl eleven oh three super duos and an eleven oh like that so I've added an 11 0 before the first three, and then really what I have here is three groups of the Super Duos, excuse me, four groups of the Super Duos and three groups of the 11 0 Pearl 11 0, and then I have an extra 11 0 at the end. All right, so that's what I have. Exiting the top of the Pearl, just going to sew through the other side of the Pearl to put that unit on. So now I have another unit on, or the outside of it. Now I'm just going to sew around, just to secure the unit a little bit. If you have to actually reinforce the entire unit, because we're going to be going through these beads a bit, and you want to get, like we did before, to a corner super duo right there. Okay, so I'm just exiting the bottom hole of this corner super duo. So just get to that point and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, let's move on. So we're exiting the bottom hole of a corner super duo. So we're pretty much going to do the same thing we did on this one to the interior and with a slight little change. So I'm just sewing through the top hole of that super duo that I was exiting. I'm going to pick up an 11 0, a super duo, and an 11 0. Just going to do the same thing I did before. Sew through the next one. So do that all the way around, and then come back, and we'll continue. All right, coming to the end, so I'm going to sew through this Super Duo, the 11 0, and just a few beads to secure it. Just going around that same group we put on, like that, see so how it pulls it in. And then I want to exit the bottom hole of one of the loose Super Duos that I just put on. First direction, go through the top. You got it. I'm going to put an 11 -0 in between each super duo. Like that. So just do that all the way around and then we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So I have added all my, my um, 11 0s in between these interior super duos and I'm exiting the top hole of one of the these four super duos. So we want to get to the outside. So a funny thing about right angle weave is that when you're putting on each unit, you kind of reverse the direction of your thread, right? So I'm exiting this super duo right here. So when I'm exiting 
my thread is going in this direction and I'm exiting this super duo at the bottom right here this is where I want you to be and then we're going to sew through the bottom hole so when your thread is going the other way so <laughs> another unit will be going this way I want you to exit the top bead of that four bead unit on the center so you'll be going this way and the only reason I say that is so that when we get finish um, embellishing the outside your thread will be right here so that you can just add another unit whereas if you just like if you you might exit this one and then your thread will end up here and you'll have to snake around not a big deal you can snake around all you want as long as you get to the outside so just a little note there so I'm exiting this bead I'm gonna sew through the bottom hole of that same super duo like that then I'm going to sew through this 11 -0 and the next, the bottom hole of the next Super Duo. I'm going to sew through the bottom hole of this Super Duo and the top hole of the green one, the bottom hole of the gold one. And then reversing direction, I'm going to sew through that gold Super Duo. So I just wanted you to see that. And like I said, if you, you know, if you end up somewhere else, just make sure you get to the outside of your unit so you can add your embellishment on and don't worry about it. Alright, so um, just get to that point, come on back and we'll embellish the outside. So let's add our corner bead on, so we're adding on a um, bicone and obviously I've done a few more units but this is, it's as though you're adding just your second unit on it. You're adding each unit on the same way, just like this. Two 11 O's through the purl 11 O's through the Super Duo. Bicone in the corner. Two 11 O's through the pearl. I just want to get you around like that. Two 11 O's through the Super Duo. So just like the first unit cone in the corner like that. So this is where we're going to change it up a teeny bit. So we're exiting the top of this super duo. I just want to I want you to sew through these two 11 O's, this pearl and these two 11 O's. So we're just needling through these two, no beads, the pearl like that. And then these two 11 O's. So just those 11 O's and the pearl. And then we're just going to, we're going to just move the thread a little bit, or move my piece around a little bit. I'm going to sew right through this super duo right here. Okay, so I've just, I've come out of here, I've gone through these beads right here. I'm just going to sew through this super duo. And that pulls everybody together, see? Then I'm just going to go on, put on my bicone. Two 11 O's through the pearl, to the two 11 O's through the super duo bicone, the next super duo, and I'm very close to running out of thread, and that I'm um, just going to make it, so just make sure you're, you're not too close to your end of your thread, through the pearl, through the two 11 O's and then I have my next unit on. So you're just going to continue making units like this. So this is what you'll have. You're just going to keep going until you have as many as you need. So I need seven for my, so the, the beaded part of my bracelet is about six, six, a little over six inches, and then my clasp. So you just have to hold it around your wrist and see. So you're going to make one, and then you're going to make another one. Now you can make your entire piece, you know, first one, first length and then you could do part of your second length like if you if you're worried about them matching up look I've done four so far and they match up fine so not a problem we're going to connect them right down the middle and we're going to connect them with using these the chatons and the pearls or whatever you like down the middle either one um, and then or you don't even have to put those in you can just 
connected and it looks pretty that way and I'll show you that and then after we're going to add all the the embellishments on the side so you can stop at, at lots of different areas um, and have a bracelet all right so get all that done and then come on back and we'll continue okay so I have both my lengths done well almost I have to add another one here so what we're going to do is we're going to attach the two lengths together with this center bead here so this um, pearl cabochon, but you can use the chiton here. It doesn't matter. Either one will fit. They're both 8 millimeter. So we're, what we're going to end up doing is sewing these together like so. But let's say, let's say you don't want to put the chiton there, but you want to, or the, the um, cabochon, but you want to sew the bracelet together. We're going to start with sewing it together with seed beads, and then if you don't want to go on and put the stone in, you don't have to. You can just go to the next place and sew together in the next. And it's going to be done with all one thread. Um, if you can do it all in one thread, if not, you know, a couple. But we're going to just keep moving down with our single thread. One other thing, if you are doing the whole shebang, look at your pieces. And if you notice, one side is a little bumped out, right? The, the super duos, just a little bit. You want that face down because you want to put your chitons or your stones here. If you are just doing the bracelet without any stones, you can leave those, the bump up on the front side. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the whole shebang, so I'm going to just put them down. Everything has like almost like a little cup in the center. All right, now I'm going to, I'm also one other thing, we have our threads here. These are for adding the clasp later. It's a, such a simple little ending. Um, I don't mind having these threads here. They're just you know, they're easy to, to sew in later, so I'm just going to leave those. I'm going to just face my my units this way so I can kind of, so I can get close in and show you. So here are my two units. I've threaded my needle with, I did about four and a half feet of thread because I want to try to get as many units on in one thread as possible. I put on a stop bead and left, left enough of a tail to sew in. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to first start by sewing together the, these beads right here. So I'm just going to sew down the two 11 O's, the pearl and the two 11 O's on one of the lengths, just like that. And I'm just going to leave that, you know, my threads behind. Then I'm going to sew up the same beads on the other side. So through the two 11 O's, through the pearl, and the two 11 O's, if you can't get them all at once, do them one at a time. My, it's cold in here this morning. My hands are, are trying to warm up a little bit. Okay, so then go through this 11 O. So you're just attaching those two units. Let me move my stoppie like that. Now we want to go down these, this group again. Just so you're going around in a circle, right, to attach. And then through these two. All right, so now you've attached that part. Now you just want to advance through the next super duo right there. And then this bicone. All right, so the super duo and the bicone. So you are now exiting this bicone right here. So just get to that point and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So we're exiting this bicone right here. So we're going to use these four bicones. So we're going to pick up three 11 O's. Exiting this one. I'm going to sew through this one. Do that again. 11 O's through the next one. Like that. Again, one, two, three, eleven O's through the next one. So through the using those little bicones to sew through it. One more time. Three 11 O's. 
back through this one. Like that. So we've placed three 11 O's in between the bicones. Now you're just going to advance your needle through the first two 11 O's, you know, the, of the first three you put on. So you're exiting that center 11 of those three. All right, so just get to that point, come on back, and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So now you're going to take two 15 O's, and we are exiting the center 11 of, you know, the three 11 O's we put on. So you're going to sew through the center bead of the next three 11 O's you put on. Pick up two 15 O's, sew through the center bead of the next group of three 11 O's. Again, like that. One more time. We're going to go with the, the original third bead of that first group of three we started with, like that. And now you have a connection. So if you notice, you have this pretty little sort of X or diamond connection here. And you can, at this point, just sew down, sew these together, and put another um, connection here. So you don't even have to put the chiton in, but, you know, we're going to continue. So just get to this point and then come back and we'll continue. Okay, let's continue. So I have exited this middle 11 0, and I just want to get to the bicone now. So I'm just going to sew through this 11 0, and then the bicone. Like that. So I have what I have right now is just the base of the bezel. So now we're going to pick up 7 15 0s. and we're going to sew through the next bicone. So we're just working with these bicones right now, like that. So now we're going to make the little, sort of little cup for the bezel. Seven 15 O's. Through the next bicone. That. Seven fifteen O's through the next spy cone. So we're just doing this all the way around just to make our the top of our bezel. Seven fifteen O's. Back through the original bicone we started with. That's what that looks like. And then you want to go continue on up through the first four of the seven fifteen O's that you put on originally. Just like that. Okay? So I'm just gonna leave it there and then come on back and we'll continue. So let's continue. So we're exiting bead number four of that first group of seven. We're going to pick up four 15 O's. And we're going to sew through bead number four of the next group of seven. Four 15 O's. Bead number four of the next group of seven. Four 15 O's. Bead number four, the next group of seven, so just all the way around. And then one last time. And you want to make sure you're going through bead four of that original group of seven, right there. Now you have your little cup for your bezel. So just get to that point and come on back and we'll put the stone in. Okay, let's add the stone. So I'm going to put the the pearl cabochon in. So I've just kind of opened it up a little bit and then I'm just going to pull. Maybe I should pull out a teeny bit. And then all you want to do at this point is you want to sew all the way around 
the beads that you put on. So the four and then that corner bead. It's, <laughs> and your, your stone will pop out at the moment. So you're just going to reinforce by sewing around all the beads. Like that. Doesn't matter if you put the the, the um, pearl in or the stone. They're both going to fit. So you just want to sew around until it feels nice and secure. You might have to do it two or three times. And then I just you're just going to work your way around so you can sew these, this group together again and then put another um, pearl on or stone on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold it on the side. So I'm just going to sew down through these three. Through the Super Duo. Like that. Let's see if I can get a little, hold this a little better. Through the Super Duo, like that. And then down. All these beads, like that. Back up, the other side. that. Then of course you have to connect the top so you're going to go back down this side through all the beads. Give it a pull so that they go together nicely. Let me just pull my tail threads out of my way. So here now I'm set up to add more, add another pearl or a stone. So to do that you're just going to, you know, you're exiting that this group of um, 11 O's and the pearl. You just want to sew through this super duo and the bicone. And now you're set up to put another stone on. So see, very easy just to maneuver your way all the way down this bracelet and sew it together beautifully. So get that done. Do as many as you you know, do whatever you want down the center, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to add the chatons on the end pieces. All right, see you in a few. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put the stones around the the sides. So it's different because we're going to be using the super duos and we don't need a base because we're going to have our base here. So thread a needle with about, say, a foot and a half of thread. Put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So let me just hold it this way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sew through the bottom hole of this corner super duo. So I'm going to be using this one, this one, this one, and this one. So just sew through the bottom hole. Like that. I'm going to pick up seven of my 15 O's. I'm going to sew through the next, the bottom hole of that next corner super duo, right here, like that. Do that again. Seven, fifteen O's. Sew through this one. Sew the other, the next corner, bottom hole of that corner super duo. I'm just going to do that two more times. And then meet me back here and we'll continue. Coming down to the last group of seven, so seven fifteen O's, sew through that original super duo that we started with, so the bottom hole, and then I want you to advance through the next four fifteen O's that you'd put on. Like that. So this is what we have. Just move my thread out of the way. So you have the start of the cup for the bezel. So it's just like the top of the the other bezel, the pearl bezel. So I'm going to pick up four 15 O's. I'm going to sew through bead number four of the next group of seven. One, two, three, four. Do that again. Four 15 O's through bead 
four of the next group of seven. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. I'm looking to see if maybe I put eight beads on there, did I? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> and then you want to do that two more times till you complete the top. And then we'll continue. Okay, coming down to my last group of four 15 O's. I'm going to sew through one, two, three, bead four. So that was the original place we started. And that's going to make my bezel. So then I, you just get this point, you can just pop your stone in. It's not going to stay yet, but you can give it a pull like that. And then just sew around the whole unit, every, all the beads you put on, including that little corner bead. And your stone will pop out. But as soon as you start sewing around, it'll get it'll get secure and stay in place. So just going all the way around like that. And you might have to do this a couple times. You might have to do it, you know, more than that. Just so it feels secure, because you want the bracelet. You don't want, you know, stones popping out. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So now I have two of my, well, actually I've done, I did one before, so now I have the chiton on. And then you just want to sew in that thread. And you can kind of straighten out your beads a little. Mine look a little crooked right there, but they'll straighten out you know, as I sew around. And then you just want to sew this thread in. And what I did is I just, um, I can't, let's see, I'm exiting one of those corner beads right there. I just sort of made a turn and went down the three side beads and then that super duo right there. And that tightened everybody up. And then I just went to the back. I put my needle through the back of the work and then I'm exiting, um, Looks like I'm exiting this super duo right here. I just sewed my thread in somewhere along here and did some half hitch knots. All right, so that's how you're going to get on your your um, chatons on or your whatever stone you're putting on the outside. So get all that done, and then come on back and I'll show you a very simple clasp to put on. Okay, we're going to add on the clasp now. So I have my thread here. I have, you know, I have four threads for adding my clasp. If your thread doesn't feel strong enough, you can always, you know, add a new thread. You know, sew this one in. This is, I think this is fine. So here, I've, what I've done is I've taken my toggle clasp and I've added a jump ring right there. And I've taken the, the toggle, the bar part, and I added two jump rings. Because it, you just need that little bit of give to get through, a, through the, um, ring. So I'm going to pick up one 11 a pearl, four millimeter pearl, and I'm going to sew through the jump ring that I put on. I'm going to pick up another pearl, another 11 and I'm going to sew right through these guys again. That's what it looks like. Now you want to go through the next Two eleven O's. Get my needle on there. Like that. Pick up another eleven O and then sew through this eleven O, the the pearl, the ring, the next pearl. Through this eleven O. Pick up an eleven O. Go back around through all these guys like that, and that's that's the, your clasp connection. So you just want to reinforce this by going around, and then make sure you sew every, all your threads in. You know, sew your thread in and, and sew it in on the back, and make you know a few half hitch knots because this is holding your your. Um, you know, your bracelet together. So when you do this one, you're going to do each one the same. So this is going to go here. And then when you do the end, of course I'm not going to do it because I haven't finished here, you're just going to, you're going to do the exact same thing, only you're going to sew through that, that, this ring of your toggle bar. 
So like that. So that last ring, you'll be sewing through that one. So get all your connections, all your um, clasp, clasps on, and then come on back and we'll finish up. Okay, here we go. We're done. So we have a sweater. <laughs> so actually here, we have, of course, I have to finish this one. Love the green. Um, I put the blue one on for you so you could see how it looks on the wrist. It's it, it's not huge. It, it's nice and substantial, though. Nice cuff. I mean, I think it looks great with the Anne ring. So here you go. We have the earrings. You know, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make this and post it on Facebook. Uh, just a couple of suggestions. Make your bases first. Like, don't try to do it all in one sitting. You know, do the bases first. Have some lunch or, you know come back the next day and then once you start sewing it together it's really so much fun at that point and you the the way I've done it is that you can put it down at any time and just get back to it and you're not going to say gee where am I I'm confused you know that's why I've done it this way to make it as easy as possible and to give you as much success with this as possible all right so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one take care bye-bye